The chances are you've been here at least once or twice in your lives. I guarantee that. We're in one of the biggest districts in Bangkok. And up until 1989, it was the biggest district in the city before it was split up into eight smaller districts. That means we're actually in the district of Chattachak, but in the heart of Bangken, if that makes any sense to you. Anyway, welcome to Bangken. Bangken is an absolute hive of activity. Just looking at the local map here, we've got art museums, art galleries, we've got a park with a beautiful lake and artistic sculptures as well. There are canal communities, there are two very beautiful famous temples around here and one of Thailand's highest security prisons just down the road. There's a lot of railway history around here as well and this wouldn't be complete without a very famous horrific ghost story. So that's all coming up. But first we're going to head for the museum of contemporary art and I'm not sure if it's reopened yet. Well the Museum of Contemporary Art are closing at 5 p.m. despite the closing time saying 5.30 but never mind. I have been here before if you remember last year so I'll show you a few highlights of the pictures I took on that visit to a piece of music. Well, if you hear the sound of thunder, it's not actually thunder. Up above, we are underneath the flight path to Don Mooring Airport, which is just up the road. And I'm standing in the grounds of Wat Prasi Mahatat Temple, a very famous temple here in Thailand. And this is famous for being the first temple to be built after the 1932 Siamese Revolution, a huge political milestone in Thai history. This temple was completed in 1941. Now, if you was to ask me what is the best area to reside in in the Banken district, I would say it's probably within this vicinity. This area has a pretty complex interchange between the brand new MRT Pink Line and the BTS Green Line which only opened a couple of years ago and also just around the corner from here is the new Lumpini Boxing Stadium. That's the new Lumpini Boxing Stadium here in Ram Intra. And I say new, actually it was opened in 2014, that's eight years ago. And of course the original was next to Lumpini Park on Rama 4 Road. Now, somebody asked me last month, they said, who is your top foreign Muay Thai fighter? And I'm gonna have to run with the crowd on this and say Raymond Deckers, because that was a guy who fought for knockouts because he knew he wouldn't get the decision on points if he was fighting of course here in Thailand. And if I had to think of another one it would be Liam Harrison. He's a guy that I actually met a few times at the Jitty Boxing Gym in the mid 2000s and I believe he's still boxing now. Great kicker.
So right here in Banken Railway Station, you've got the best collection that I've seen of Hopewell structures straddling the whole station all the way down about 50 metres. And the station master says there were more trouble than they would have been worth to demolish them and they'll probably be here for a few more decades. The social housing along here is part of the Ban Mang Kong project, which is a collaboration between the Royal Thai Army, the Community Organisational and Development Institute and the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration, designed to get these communities into proper housing with proper sanitation and facilities. Each household gets a loan which they repay over 15 years at a fixed interest rate. It's all designed to raise the economic and social aspects of these communities' lives. And from what I can see at the moment, it's an incredible success. Well, the police told me if I wanted to shoot outside the front, I had to come back a little bit later because they were having a large transfer of prisoners coming in. And it probably wouldn't look good if I'm shooting this for YouTube. Anyway, this is the Klong Prem Central Prison. Maximum security facility for those serving less than 25 years. It also houses the La Yao Central Women's Prison. This was established in 1944 due to increasing demand on the Bangkok Corrections Facility during World War II and it was upgraded to a proper maximum security facility in 1972. I better not lean against this too much. I'm 73 kilos with my clothes on, and obviously 65 without. Anyway, I'm at the back of Wat Sami and Nari, and the reason why I cut through this temple was I wanted to get over a footbridge that used to be here. Obviously, Google Earth is well out of date. I was here three weeks ago, and I was shooting off that bridge, and a lot of this dam wall reconstruction work was just starting and this housing project is now well under progress. So it goes to show how quickly they're moving around here with this project going forward. This is part of the same project as the one going on a kilometer up the canal that way that we looked at in Bang Ken, you know, the bridge with Namong Wan Road. So good to see everything's moving quickly. So that's good news. 
apart from the weather, of course. So that is the elegant, the beautiful Wat Samian Nari Temple, also known as the Temple of Cats. And at one point I was completely surrounded and I was feline really scared. Feline, feeling, really scared. Get it? I know, it's a terrible joke. Let's get going. A real slice of Klong life here in Bangkok, and once upon a time, of course, a lot more of Bangkok was like this. Canal side communities living in places that looked a lot like this. This is the point on the Klong Prem Prachakon where the Klong Lai Diao comes right across it. And in the background just over there is a very elegant Wat Tiwa Sun Ton temple. What I want to do now is take a walk along this canal as far as we can go towards Wat Samian Nari because I do believe there is a ghost story begging to be told. Not a lot going on here tonight, as you would expect, along a dark road next to a dark canal at night. There are one or two people up and around, but there's no parties going on. So this ghost story involves two women dressed in black haunting the railway line that runs alongside here. But first I've got to tell you two backstories to prepare you for the grisly details. Now this is a pretty well known story. Anyway, backstory number one, a taxi driver picks up two young ladies from Ratchet Pisek Road and they ask him to drive them here outside Wat Samian Nari. Anyway, when he pulls up here he turns around to get the fare and they've completely disappeared. The second backstory involves a young man driving back from RCA. He picks up two young ladies dressed in black. They ask him to drive them here. When he pulls up here, he turns around and they've completely disappeared. Now, the next part of the story, I think I better tell you over on the railway tracks. So the next story is about what happens after the young man and the taxi driver step out of their cars to investigate this sudden disappearance of the two young ladies that were sitting right there next to them just a few minutes earlier. And they're drawn towards these screams coming from the railway track, so they go over to investigate. And what they see is pretty horrific. The two young women have been cut in half at the waist, trying to drag themselves along screaming, and there's blood everywhere. The story goes is that these two young women got hit by a train at the railway crossing just back here on their way to their mother's funeral at Wat Sami and Nari and their spirits haven't had a chance to grieve in the real world so they're stuck in limbo. And this story haunts taxi drivers who apparently will never take anyone towards Wat Sami and Nari in the early hours of the morning.
And this story still haunts taxi drivers who will not take passengers towards the area of Watson. Oh, it's okay, Carl. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm. Well, from now on, I'm always going to look left and right every time I cross the tracks. I hope you've enjoyed this look around Banken. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. If you want to support the channel by buying me a coffee, that would be absolutely fantastic. Or you can join the channel and become a member as well. Anyway, until the next one, I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.